friends, I love drawing with you in 2023. I hope you had a lot of fun too. I picked out my five favorite lessons from last year. The first lesson is how to draw a puppy. I bet you can't guess my other favorite ones. Hey, our friends, today we're going to draw a dog. What kind of dog are we drawing? Pomeranian. Yeah, a Pomeranian. And you have a little stuffy that looks like a really cute Pomeranian. Yeah. Uh, the reason why I like Pomeranians so much is they're big heads. And yeah. they're puffy. Yeah. Like a pom-pom. I like them because they have really short legs. Really short legs. <laughs> We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers. You also need some? Paper. Paper, and what else? Something to color with. Yeah, something to color with. You ready to start? Yeah. So the first thing we're gonna do is draw the nose and also the mouth and the eyes. And we'll put your little puppy over there. And we're gonna start by drawing the nose right in the middle of our paper so that we have room for the whole head. We're gonna start here and draw a little oval shape in the middle. Yes, and then let's color in that shape. And then let's draw the mouth. We're gonna draw the letter U that comes out to the left, and then also letter U that comes out to the right. And then let's also draw the mouth open, and your little stuffy has a big tongue sticking out, but we're gonna draw the mouth open and then add the tongue inside. Oh, that's a cute mouth. And we're gonna draw the little tongue. I'm gonna draw two bumps, one, two, for the tongue inside. Yeah, and then we could color in the top part of the mouth. Now let's draw the eyes. I'm gonna draw a circle on the left and a circle over here on the right to match. And then let's also draw the little highlight or the reflection in the top left of each eye. Draw a little circle. And then let's color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. See how that, that makes the eyes look shiny and yeah. friendly. Also super cute. <laughs> Oh, are you adding eyelashes? Yes. Perfect. All right, now we're ready to draw the head and we're gonna draw a big circle, but let's first draw the bottom of the circle. We're gonna draw it right here. I'm gonna draw a circle like this. We're gonna come around. Oh. <laughs> then we're gonna draw the top of the circle. <laughs> yeah, and then let's draw the ears. We're gonna draw a little ear sticking out here and then also a little ear sticking out over here. And we could also draw the inside of the ears. I'm going to draw a little curve like this and then a zigzag down. Almost looks like the letter Z. Yes, and then we can draw a, the same little letter Z on the other side. Looks like a little lightning bolt. Yeah, you did it. There's our little Pomeranian's head. And it's super cute. But what are we missing? The body. Yeah, the body. Let's draw two little legs. We're going to draw one leg. We're going to come down like this. And then we're going to come back up, but it looks like looks like a backwards letter J. Yeah. And then we could also draw another leg right here. I'm going to draw it smaller, but watch this. Well, not smaller. We're going to just draw it so that it doesn't connect all the way up to the neck. Yeah. And then let's draw a zigzag line in between the two legs. Yeah. And then we could draw the belly line right here. And then let's draw the back leg. We're going to start here and we're going to draw it coming down like this. And then we're going to curve in and connect. So you can start there. Yeah, for the leg. <laughs> there you go. And then we could also draw the other leg just right here. You can barely see it. Yeah. Now we got four little legs for our Pomeranian. Oh, we could add the little toe lines. I'm going to add two little toe lines on each foot. And then what are we missing back here? The tail. Yeah, the tail. Let's draw a little puffy tail right here. I'm gonna draw a zigzag line for a little pom-pom. We did it. There's our Pomeranian, except we're not completely done. Don't let me color it. Yes, this part, this part will speed up, but at the end you can pause the video if you want to match our same coloring. You could also color your Pomeranian any color you want. Yeah. You ready to speed things up? Yes. We did it! We finished drawing and coloring our cute little Pomeranians and I especially love how yours turned out. It's always my favorite because I think it just looks so cute when you're all done. 
<laughs> I hope our art friends will take time to color their drawings also. We used just two, well, three colors, right? We used our orange color and then also this little peach color. We used the lighter color for the bottom of our Pomeranian's head and also on the body and ears. And then we used our orange for the rest, for the top of the head and also the body. And then pinks for the cheeks. Yeah, pink for the cute little cheeks and also the tongue. And we also left around the nose white. You could even add a background. Oh, what could they draw in the background? Outside. Oh yeah, your Pomeranian could be at the park or maybe swimming at the pool <laughs> because it's so hot outside. Yeah, <laughs> you could also even add more Pomeranians. Oh, <laughs> you could draw a whole family, maybe even some baby ones. Oh, this one looks like a baby too. Yeah, we hope you have fun drawing Pomeranians with us. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Good Goodbye. job, high five. Boop. Here, friends, you're gonna draw a flower. Yeah, we're gonna draw a flower monster. When it's folded up, it'll look like a cute flower, and then yeah. when you open it, it'll be a super scary one. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers, and you also need some? Paper. Paper, and what else? Something to color with. Yes, all right, are you ready to start? Yes. First, we're gonna fold it. Yes, we are, we're gonna fold it. <laughs> Let's take the top edge, and we're gonna line it up with the bottom edge. And once you get it lined up, we're gonna crease it down the middle and out to the corners. I can help so you. It's hard. It's okay, I can help you. Teamwork, right? Yes. And there we go, line it up. Yes, and then right down the middle. Right down. Yes, and then out to the corners. Watch out. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Watch out. <laughs> and then we're gonna take the top flap and we're gonna line it up with the top edge and crease it down also. And there you go. Right down the middle, and then out to the sides. Cha, cha. Yeah, then we're gonna flip over our paper like that. And let's repeat the same step. We're gonna take the top or the top flap and line it up with the top edge and crease it down. That's almost there you up. go, you almost got it. And down the middle. Cha. Yes. Cha. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a guide fold, so let's unfold it and flatten it out, and then flip our paper back over. When it's all finished, it should open up like this. Cha. There you go. We also have scratch paper we'll put underneath our drawing paper, just to protect our tape. And we're ready to draw. Yes. We're using our Art for Kids Hub black marker, but you can use whatever you have at home or in the classroom. You could even use a pencil. Let's first draw the center of our flower. We're gonna draw a circle. Half of the circle will be above the fold, and then the other half, we're gonna go below the fold, around, and then connect where we started. Yes, and then down. Oh, love how big your flower monster is going to be. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and the next time I draw, I'm gonna change my flower monster to be as big as yours. <laughs> okay. Now let's draw the petals. I'm gonna start above the fold over here. We're gonna draw a sideways U shape for the first petal. Yes, then let's draw a sideways U shape below the fold for the other petal. And then let's repeat that same step over here first. Yeah, before we draw all the rest of the petals, let's first draw another sideways U. We want this one to be above the fold. And then we're gonna do another one below the fold. That way when we open it up, we don't have a petal split in half. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw the rest of the petals going all the way across to the other side. There we go. And then fit the last one in. Oh, I like how many you added. <laughs> then let's do the same thing on the bottom. We're gonna go all the way across the bottom until we connect to the other side. Oh, I got kind of, oh, we're gonna, that one in, yes. I like how that one's a little smaller. Oh, and you have some little ones too. All right, now let's draw our flower's face. Let's start by drawing the eyes. I'm gonna draw one circle here and another circle over here. And we want to draw these above the fold. There you go. And one more. Then let's draw a smaller circle in the top left of each eye. This makes the eyes look friendly, but when we open it up, it won't be so friendly. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. This white circle is a highlight or a reflection to make the eyes look shiny. 
Now let's draw the mouth. I'm going to draw a straight line and we want half of the line to be on top. And if you need to, you can go back over. I'm going to draw the other half below the fold. That way when you open it up, you have some of the mouth on the fold up here and some of it down here. Yeah. And do you want to draw across right there? Yes. And you could draw it kind of close to the sides also. Good job. Oh, I love yours. <laughs> and then you're going to draw another one below. Perfect. Now let's add little cheek lines on each side. <laughs> oh, and also we could add a little stem down here. I'm going to draw two lines and we don't want to go all the way to the edge. We'll leave a little space. There you go. Oh, I like how thick your stem is too. <laughs> we did it. There's our little cute flower. Now we need to open up our paper and we're going to flatten out the folds so that it's easier to draw on. We have half of our flower up here and the bottom half down here. So let's draw all of the details inside of the folding surprise. Now when we're drawing this part, we want to make sure that we draw below the top fold and above the bottom fold. That way when it's folded up, it's all hidden. Yeah. So first let's add the sharp scary teeth. I'm going to draw a zigzag line. So I'm going to come down like this. And then I'm going to draw a zigzag line all the way across to the other side. Oh, I love your scary teeth. Okay, let's do the same thing over here or down here for the bottom teeth. And let's now connect the top down to the bottom. First, let's start on the outside of the flower and we're going to draw a line that comes down and connects to the side of the flower down at the bottom. Then we'll do the same thing on the right side. Connect all the way down to the bottom. And then let's draw the inside of the mouth. We're going to draw another line that matches on the left and also over here on the right. Oh, it's so scary. <laughs> yes, and you can also, let's extend your mouth so that it comes across to the other side and we could do the same over here. Yes, and then the same up here and on the side. There you go. Okay, now let's draw the scary tongue. We're going to draw an upside down, well, just kind of a rainbow curve right on top of the fold. Yeah, or down there. And then we're going to draw a line on the left and also a line on the right. Straight down. And then let's turn it into a snake tongue. We're going to draw an upside down V to split the tongue. Yeah, now let's draw the throat. We're going to draw the little punching bag at the back of your throat. We'll draw the letter U right above the tongue. And then we're going to draw the side of the throat coming around and connecting to the tongue. And then let's do the same thing on the right side. Curve around and connect to the tongue. We did it. There's our little flower, <laughs> our scary flower. Yeah. <laughs> let's draw more things on our flower. Let's add the petals coming all the way down. So I'm going to start below the fold. So we're going to start right here below the fold and we're going to add U-shapes, sideways U-shapes for the rest of the petals all the way down the side of our flower. And we want to make sure that we stop above the fold. So start right there. Now let's repeat that same step over here on the right side. So we want to start below the fold and then we're going to draw sideways U-shapes all the way down our flower. You could add, oh, there's some sharp ones. I like that. <laughs> It's All right the way there. down. Yeah. Now let's also draw leaves, but the leaves are going to be our flower's monster hands. So <laughs> let's draw a curve that comes out, up, and down. Let's start there, curve up and down. Then we're going to draw another one right next to it inside. Oh, look at this. A lot smaller. Yeah. And then let's draw a zigzag line for the claws. Yeah. <laughs> I like how small that is. Okay, let's do the same thing over here. We're going to draw a big upside down U for one or the top of the arm. And then let's draw a smaller one for the inside of the arm. And then let's draw a zigzag line to connect for the claws. Ooh, and I'm going to extend this a little past the um, petals. Let's add one more thing to our drawing. Let's add a couple bees that are scared and flying away from the flower. Yeah. First, let's draw an oval shape. There you go. And you can connect it here too. 
Yes. And then on the oval shape, let's draw two. I like that you're drawing it on this side. Let's draw. Yes, there's the stripe. I'm going to draw a little sideways V for the stinger. Yeah, you could draw on this side. There you go. And let's color in the stinger and also the stripe. Then let's add two eyes, two dots. And we got to draw a scared mouth. So we'll draw a big open mouth like it's screaming. <laughs> and then color it in. Yeah. <laughs> then let's draw two upside down U shapes for the wings. <laughs> let's repeat that step for another B on the other side. I'm going to draw it flying this way. You can draw it flying away or towards your flower. If you want to draw it flying away, draw the stripe closer to the flower. So you could draw it on this side. There you go. And then it will be flying away from your flower. Then the sideways V for the stinger. Color that in. Yes. And then you could add the two little eyes and the scared mouth and two upside down U's for the wings. My mouth is giant. <laughs> it's really giant. And your wings, you did it. And we finished our drawing. Oh, wait, we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, don't forget to color your drawings. Let's pick out our colors. We're using our Art for Kids Hub gel crayons. If yeah. you have the same set, the colors that we're using are red, red, yellow, blue, dark purple. Yeah, it's kind of a dark red purple, orange, orange. And purple. Yeah. And what's the last color? Green. Green. But also remember, you don't have to use the same set. You could use different crayons. Or you could also use something completely different like colored pencils or even markers. Yeah. You could use our Art for Kids hub markers too. Yes. Let's first color the inside of our flower. And since we only have one set right now, we're just going to share. So the first thing I'm going to do is color the yellow right here for the inside or the center of our flower. And do you want to color the petals? Yeah. This part will speed up, so remember to pause the video and take extra time to color your drawings. Now let's switch. I also colored my little bees yellow, and I even used the orange crayon around the outside, but you can leave that off if you want to keep the lesson a little easier. Yeah. All right, let's speed it up again. I forgot to mention, we're going to use our black crayon for the inside of our little flower's throat. And let's also color the tongue. So here you go. Do you want to use the black? Yeah. And I will use red for the tongue. And also, let's use the dark purple for the inside of the mouth. So this part right here, I'm going to use this color for the inside of the mouth. All right, let's speed it up again. Okay. Last, let's use green for the leaves and also the stem, and we'll use the blue for the bee's wings. Olivia, give me five. We did it. We finished drawing and coloring our monster flowers. We got them all folded up. Should we show our friends the inside? Yes. All right, on the count of three. One, One two, three. 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 Rawr. Rawr. <laughs> I also added an extra bee down here that's smiling because this bee thinks that the flower is friendly, yeah. but these ones are really scared, especially <laughs> <Yeah>. that one. <laughs> you can pause the video right now to match our same coloring, or what else could our friends do? A background. Yeah, you guys could add a background. You can color your drawings any way you want. You could even add more things to your drawing, like extra bees yeah. or even more flowers. Maybe a rainbow. Oh, a rainbow would be perfect. We hope you have fun drawing a flower monster. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, I'm going to chomp your flower. Hey, Olivia, who are we going to draw today? Cheddar Max. Yeah, Cheddar Max. What is Cheddar Max? It's from Bluey. Yeah, it's Bluey's favorite toy or one of her favorite toys. And we really like Chatter Max and we love Bluey. So we thought it would be fun to draw Chatter Max. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers and some crayons and also 
Paper. Paper. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay. We're going to put Cheddar Max off to the side. We'll put her, I think it's a her. We'll put her up there. Him. Go over him. <laughs> and then we're going to use our markers first to draw all of the main shapes of her little toy. We're going to draw the beak first, and we're going to draw the letter U right in the middle of our paper. Now, if you want to draw Cheddar Max with the mouth open, you could draw the U really tall, or you could draw it smaller if you want the beak closed. I'm going to draw it tall. I'm going to draw it really tall. I'm going to draw it like this. I'm going to come around and then come back up. I want to really, really tall. Really tall. <laughs> Good. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> and then you could also make both of these sides equal. So this side could come up a little higher so that it's the same height. Maybe up to there. Yes. Okay, then we're going to draw the top of the beak. We're going to draw an upside down U to connect it. And it looks like a big kind of jelly bean. Oh, I like the little bump at the top too. <laughs> Okay, now let's draw the beak. We're going to draw two short lines that come in. So we're going to draw two right here. You can draw like right there and maybe one over here too. Okay, and then we're going to draw the bottom of the beak. We're going to draw a smaller U right here in the middle to connect. Yeah, and if you had a smaller uh, shape for the beak, then you, you could leave this next part off if you're going to draw the beak closed. But we're going to draw it open. So we're going to draw another U shape inside for the open mouth. So you go down and match the outside, come back up. Yeah, and then at the very bottom, we're gonna draw a little curve for the teeth. Now this next part, we're gonna fast forward, but we're gonna color in this inside part of the mouth. And you guys at home, if you wanna take time, you can also pause the video and color in your beak or your drawing too. Now we're ready to draw the eyes, and we're gonna draw two oval shapes, two big oval shapes, and we're gonna start in the middle of the beak. So I'm gonna start about here, and also right here, you could draw two little guide points, or I could add them there too, one and one on the other side also. And then we're gonna draw, yes, we're gonna draw a big oval shape, and we're gonna come all the way over to the other side of the beak. So I'm gonna start here, we're gonna come up, around, and then we're gonna come back down, and then connect in, <laughs> yes. Giant eyes. Giant eyes. And then we're going to draw that same shape on the other side. We're going to come all the way over. Yes, that's perfect. <laughs> then I'm going to try to draw the same size eye over here also. And that's okay if they're a little different, right? Yeah. And it's okay that our two drawings look different. They don't look exactly the same, but they're both turning out awesome. Yeah. And it's okay if your drawings look different too, because the most important thing is... To have fun and practice. Yes, have fun and practice. All right, you ready to keep going? Yeah. Now let's draw the inside of the eyes or the pupils. We're going to draw an oval about this size on both eyes. Mine is going to be a little bit big. A little bit mine big. Have a little <laughs> giant eyes. And little giant eyes. <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to color in the pupils on both sides. Actually, I forgot one more detail. We need to draw one more line around each eye. So I'm going to start here. We're going to trace around. We were going to draw the feathers first, but we got to draw the outside of the eyes. There we go. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side to match. I'm going to come around and then connect. Okay, now we're ready to draw the feathers. So let's start by drawing a, I'm going to draw a U shape that comes out to the side and then we're going to come back in. And then let's draw that same U shape on the other side too. So we're going to draw, trying to match since it's symmetrical. That's a big word. Do you know what symmetrical means? Nope. It's the same. If you were to fold it right in the middle or fold it together, it would match. So we're going to draw the same thing on the left and also on the right. So let's draw another feather right here. We're going to draw it coming out like this, and we're going to come around and then connect in. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Come around and connect in. And then we're going to draw another one. comes around like this, and then we're going to connect in. Well, I'm going to get a little bit bigger so I could get the feathers on top of the eyes. <laughs> and then we're going to draw one more feather. I'm going to draw this one maybe even a little bit bigger to get it to come around more. There we go. And then this one too. Really and good. mine aren't exactly symmetrical, but that's okay. We're practicing. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw. Ooh, we could even draw the feathers that go up a little higher. When you turn on Chatter Max, they get more feathers, right? With the yeah. lights. Let's start by drawing one coming straight up right here. So I'm going to draw Right here, I'm going to come up, and then we're going to come back down. And we, well, Cheddar Max is going to fill our whole paper. And I'm going to do the same thing right here. So there's one, and then you could draw another one over here. These are purple, and they have lights on them. 
Then we're going to draw another feather that comes out that's really big. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. So let's draw three more. We're going to draw one here. Yep. And then we're going to do one more right next to it. There you go. Let's do two, those two feathers over here before we draw the last one. So I'm going to draw one more here and another one coming straight out to the side. Yes. And then one more aimed down. This one's not as big and we're aiming it more down this way. We did it. We added all the feathers going around Chattermax's eyes. Now let's start on the body. We're going to start here and draw a line that connects in between the eyes. So I'm going to draw one right here. Yes. And then we're going to draw a line coming down from the side of the eye. And we're going to stop right about there on each side. Yeah, right there. That's a good spot. And then we need to draw the wings. So let's draw an upside down U shape. We're going to start by drawing like this. Oh, an actual, maybe a letter J. So one side's longer than the other side. And then we're going to do the same thing over here, but we're going to draw the inside line longer. Yes. Okay. Now let's draw the feathers. So we're going to draw coming out like this. And then we're going to draw one bump. Yep. And then another bump and then connect into the top. Yes. Let's do the same thing. We're going to come out a little further for the, those little feathers on the outside of the wing. Yeah. <laughs> There's the two wings for Chattermax. Okay. Now let's draw the bottom of the body. And we're going to start here. We're going to draw a curve that comes around and then connects to the other wing. So we start here. We're going to come around and then we'll connect into the other wing. What are we missing down here at the bottom? The feet. Yeah. The feet. Let's just draw two ovals. We're going to start in the middle and we're going to draw a kind of a wide U shape. Yes. Oh, I like how tall your feet are. And then we're going to come out like this and draw the other foot. And then let's draw the two toes on each foot. We're going to draw two lines in the middle. Oh yeah. And you could also connect them all the way up to the top if you want, or you could just leave them down there small too. I like that. Draw. Yeah. There you go. Draw. <laughs> we did it. We finished drawing Chatterbox, except we're not completely done. We still need color. Oh, he's going to look so much better all colored in. This part will fast forward, but at the end you could pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to speed things up? Yes. Let's tell our friends what we've done so far. We are coloring with our markers, our Art for Kids hub markers, instead of our cramps. We decided to change. And um, if you have the same set, you can use the same colors that we're using. We first used 35 yellow for the beak, the eyes, and also the feet. We also used it for the tips of this feather. And then also we're adding lights on the bigger feathers. And then on top of the yellow, we layered 24 orange. That's to mix the colors so we could get it a little closer to what Chattermax looks like in the TV show. Yeah. And now we're switching to our green 166 and we're coloring in underneath the eye and also in between the eyes. And then we're also going to color a little shape for the belly. So I'm going to draw a little curve comes out like this. Oh, you're doing a great job. There we go. Yeah. And then we're going to color. There you go. Yeah. I'm going to do a little. I like it just like that. Yes. You're doing great. And then we're going to color in the belly with the same green color. Let's fast forward more and we'll tell our friends again what we're doing on the next part. Now we're using our light purple. This is number 75 and we're coloring in the body. And also we colored the tips of each of the feathers and added a few more circles for the lights that aren't turned on. Now we're using our dark purple. This is number 83. We're coloring in the rest of the feathers and around the light part, the light purple on each feather. And then also the wings. I forgot. We needed color and the tip of this inside feather, the first feather up here at the top on both sides. So this one color in the top there and also the top there. And then we're going to switch to our light blue number 76 and we're going to color in the bottom part of those feathers that have the yellow on the top. So this one and then also this one and then the same on the other side. 
Now for the last feathers, we're gonna use two pinks, a light one and a dark one, 17 and 87. 87 we'll use for the tip of the feather, just like we did with the yellow. So we're gonna color in just the, the very edge of the feather on all of the ones that we have left. Color over here too, and this one. Then let's switch to our light pink and we'll color in the rest of the feather. Olivia, give me five. Oh, Chattermax gave me five. <laughs> I especially love how your drawing turned out, Olivia. That is the cutest little Chattermax I've ever seen. She looks like she's going crazy. <laughs> You can pause the video right now to match her same coloring. You could even add a background. Oh, maybe Bluey's in the background. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to chase her to turn her off. <laughs> <laughs> we used our markers to color with, but remember, you don't have to. You could use whatever you have at home. You could use crayons or even colored pencils. Or maybe even watercolor. Oh, if you painted this, that would be really cool too. We've had fun drawing Cheddar Max with us. <laughs> we do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, our friends, we're gonna draw a beehive. Yeah, when it's folded up, you can see the beehive, and then when you open it, you can see the bees, and also, what's inside of a beehive? Honey. Yeah, honey. We're gonna draw a honeycomb, too. So we hope you're gonna follow along. It's gonna be really awesome. You need your, what are these called? Crayons. Crayons, and what is this called? Paper. Yeah, you need something to draw with and some paper. You ready to start? Yeah. First, we're folding the paper, so we'll put the crayons off to the side. We're gonna take the top edge of our paper and line it up with the bottom edge. And when it's lined up on both corners, you can crease it down the middle and then out to the edge. I'll help you. There we go. I think that's close, right down the middle. There you go, and then out to the sides. Yes, good job. Now we're ready to fold it again. We're gonna take the top flap, line it up with the top edge, and when it's lined up, crease it down. You go right down the middle. Oop. Yes, perfect. And then we can flip it over and we're gonna repeat that same step. Here, let's turn it like this, there you go. And then we're gonna take the top flap and we're gonna fold it up to the top edge and then crease it down. There you go, line it up on both sides, and then right down the middle. Yes, and out to the other side. We did it. Now this last fold is just a guide fold, so we're gonna unfold it and then flatten it out so it's easy to draw on, and then we're going to flip it over. When we're all done, it should open up like this. Yeah, you did it. <laughs> Except we're gonna turn our paper one more time so that it opens up this way. Yes, we got it. Now we're ready to draw. Let's start with our brown crayon so that we can draw the branch of the tree that our beehive is connected to. Now I'm gonna start right here and we'll draw a line that goes across the fold. Yes, and then we're gonna draw another line either above it or below it. Yeah, good job. And then let's color in our branch. This part will fast forward. So remember, if we ever go too fast, you need extra time. You can always pause the video. Yes, you can pause the video. Now let's switch to our yellow crayon. We'll draw a line straight down on top of the fold from the branch. Then we're gonna draw our beehive. We're gonna draw an oval shape that comes around and then back up and connect where we started. There you go. And then let's also draw a line right down the middle, across the middle. There you go. And then let's split the top also and the bottom also. And then let's color in our beehive. So we'll fast forward again because this will take us a little while. So remember to pause the video and take extra time to color your drawings. Yeah. Now that we've colored in our beehive, you can't really see the design or the details. So let's switch back to our brown crayon. Let's trace over the shape for our beehive. And then let's also trace over the design. So let's draw a line right down or across the middle and also on the top and the bottom. Now it looks more like a beehive. Now let's switch to our green crayon and add a little leaf right here on our branch. Yes, and let's color in that leaf too. 
and then you can add other leaves. Let's add another one on this side. Now, because you don't have as much room on the top, that's okay, you can leave these top leaves off, but do you wanna color that in? I'm yeah. gonna add maybe another one here, and like you, I'm gonna add one down here. Okay, now let's switch to our black crayon. What's our beehive missing? A door. A door where the bees can go in. Let's draw one right here. We're gonna draw a circle over the fold. So right in the middle. There you go. Yeah, I can help you hold it down. Nice. And then let's color in the hole or the door so that the bees can get in. We finished our beehive. Let's open up the paper and we'll flatten it out so it's easier to draw on. Now that it's open, we have half of our beehive over here and the other half on the other side. And we need to connect the branch. So first, let's draw a line on the top to connect the top of our branch. And then we can draw a line on the bottom to connect. And then let's color in the branch. Now let's use our black crayon to draw the honeycomb. First, let's draw a line down from the branch so that it's connected, it doesn't fall. Then we're gonna draw one circle right here. And we're gonna try to draw the circles all the same size. I'm gonna draw another circle next to it, and then another circle over here, and we're trying to draw them the same size. This is fun to practice. Now let's draw another one on each side. And then we're gonna draw, watch this, we're gonna draw two, or well, we can draw a bunch that are gonna go all the way across. So we're gonna add another row. And we're drawing circles, but honeycomb is actually a different shape than a circle. It's a hexagon, which means it has six sides to the shape. But because we're drawing it small, and we also wanna keep it simple, we're just drawing circles. Now let's draw another row of circles right below that one. Oh, love it. Now let's add another one. I'm drawing one more row, but our art friends could add even more if they wanted to. Yeah. I love yours. Okay, now let's switch back to our yellow crayon. We're using our yellow crayon to color in the honeycomb. This part will fast forward, so pause the video and take extra time. We did it, we finished coloring our honeycomb, but our drawings are missing something. What are they missing? Bees. <laughs> yeah, they're missing bees. Let's draw an oval shape and then color it in. Let's draw another oval shape and color it in. We're gonna draw as many bees as we want. So you can add three bees. You could add, I have four bees now. How many do you have? I want five bees. <laughs> are you counting them? Yeah. Good. <laughs> you can make these little bees right here just a little bigger so that we can add their stripes. Now we're drawing all of these bees in between the folds so that when we fold it up like this, it's hidden and all of the bees are on the inside. But I think we should add one bee on the outside too. You could just add it right here. You don't have to fold it. So add it right there in the corner. I'm gonna unfold mine again so it looks like yours. Now let's switch to our black crayon again. Let's start on one of these bees right here. I'm gonna add two stripes, one, two. Yeah, and your bees are extra small, so we might not be able to fit much more. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little stinger, and you could also add a little eye if you have room. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's add, you could even just add one stripe if you only have room for one stripe. I'm gonna add two and a little eye. And we'll just repeat that same step on each bee. You could also make your bees a little bigger if you wanna make this easier to add the details. I'm gonna just draw on every single one, a stinger, two stripes, and an eye. Let's add one more thing to our bees, their wings. We're gonna use our blue crayon to do this. Let's add a two little bumps for the wings. And I'm gonna add that on each bee. Two bumps, two bumps. Well, maybe the wings are on the other side on this one. Oh, you could even add wings on both sides of the bee if you want to. Ooh. Olivia, we did it. We finished drawing our beehives and they turned out perfect. I especially love yours. Uh, let's show our art friends the inside okay. on the count of three. One, two, two three. three. <laughs> Give me your honey. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> I love all of your cute bees, especially this big one. Maybe that's the queen bee. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>
You can pause the video to add even more things to your drawing. You could add more leaves or even more bees. You could also do this lesson all over again and add even more honeycomb. Yeah. We hope you had fun drawing the beehive with us. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, they're attacking. <laughs> <laughs>